What's up everyone, it's Q from Retro Q Gaming, and we all know with all the Nintendo Switch announcement and reveal and details and the two days of Tokyo Treehouse presentation that there's a lot of info coming out all at once and it's it's kind of all over the place. There's a very mixed message and very, very large amount of half-answered questions at the moment when it comes to the Switch, when it comes to certain policies on the Switch, certain aspects of the Switch, etc, etc. So, one of the big ones that I've always been a, a large proponent of, proponent, did I say proponent? Proponent of, was the whole virtual console aspect. Now, I'm sure if, you've, if you're familiar with my channel, I've made plenty of videos on this subject, usually in the run-up to the Switch, but not just exclusively in the run-up to the Switch. Now, I'll give you a quick refresher, you know, I won't bother throwing the links in the description to it, but I'll give you a quick refresher course on on my my worries. So, when you look at the Wii, to the Wii U, there was the, the virtual console, and there was the transfer process, and then if you wanted to play them in Wii mode, or in Wii U mode, instead of going into Wii mode, which was a hassle unto itself to a degree, you had to essentially rebuy the game. Sure, you got a big discount on it, but you shouldn't have to because allegedly from multiple development sources that we've heard of, to port your game from the Wii Virtual Console to the Wii U Virtual Console is allegedly putting in only two single lines of code. Now, I realize there's more to it than that. There's things like licensing issues and publishing agreements and things like that. But the point and the principle is the same. So it's arguably little, very little to no work. The companies have already essentially been paid for, you know, their digital copy of the game, and that's one of the the many aspects of it. And the other one that I was always a huge vocal source against was the unified account system from Nintendo. Eventually, Nintendo used well, Nintendo used to have a separate account for your Wii U and a separate account for your 3DS. You could essentially put them together as a as a unified account system, even though they were all technically the same account. You used, say, you know, used your account as a Wii U account, and then you used it as a 3DS account, but they weren't together. They weren't the same account for some unknown reason. Nintendo eventually gave us a unified account system with absolutely no benefit of a unified account system it made no sense whatsoever and the big gripe a lot of people including my especially myself had with the unified account system is that if you bought a game on your 3ds that was available on the wii u you would not get the ability to play it on the wii u you would not get a discount to buy it again on the Wii U, you had to pay full price on the Wii U, and vice versa with the 3DS if you had bought it first on the Wii U, even if you had got it from the Wii originally. So that's the quick refresher course, and uh, one of the, the main gripes and worries I've always been bracing myself for when it came to Nintendo Switch. Now I realize the Nintendo Switch is a month and a half away, it's like 40 something days away, and in the meantime, there's going to be a lot of announcements and presentations and, you know, whatever, what have you. So chances are we'll find out more about that. But in the meantime, over the weekend, because this is the big Switch weekend, there was a little bit of light shed on the process. Actually, real quick before I get into it, there you, there is a... There seems to be a new type of account called a, a Nintendo account. Not a My Nintendo account, mind you. Not a new Nintendo Network ID, not a Nintendo Network ID or anything. But there seems to be a Nintendo, a, just a separate Nintendo account that you will use on the Nintendo Switch. Now, I can't verify this myself because I can't sign up for one just yet. I realize you can on the US side, but I can't do it personally because I don't live in the US. But apparently, from a lot of places and a lot of people I hear and a lot of reports and all I see online, is that you? it is not linked with your Nintendo Network ID, which is where all your virtual console games and stuff are registered to. So it's n apparently, I could be wrong, as I said, it's not linked to that, which is infinitely a bad start. Straight away, if that's true, that's a big red flag. Now, here is where the meat of this video was coming into. So o over the weekend, as I said, it is the Switch weekend, and the guys over at Wired.com finally caught up with my boy, Reggie Fizeme. His body is Reggie. And 
they got a little bit of time with him to ask some questions and all. And they are, the guys from Wired, they ask any important questions. It's that simple. So you're going to see pretty much this transcript everywhere on the internet. And pretty much anyone who's making a, a video on this topic is pretty much just going to quote this thing verbatim. But I'll do it anyway. So Wired have to say, I hear from a lot of people like me. Wait a minute. That didn't make sense. Okay, yeah, yeah, I misread that. Let's start that one again. So... I hear from a lot of people like me who have spent a thousand dollars on classic games on Wii and Wii U. Reggie fils just cuts in and just says, wow, that's a lot of money. Guys from Wired go back and just say, it is a lot of money. Uh, is there going to be a discount for us if we buy the games again on Switch? Now, Reggie's answer to this question is, what I would say first is we recognize that some of our more passionate fans have spent quite a bit, whether it's with Virtual Console on Wii or Wii U, and we recognize that consumers are rightly concerned about moving to Nintendo Switch without backwards compatibility. My comment is stay tuned. We understand the concern, more information to come. There's 40 some odd days between now and launch, there are more details to come. And at that point, we'll be able to define all of those various details of that online experience. So, it's understandable that Reggie gives the kind of whatever you want to call a PR speak version of it the, as his response. Maybe it's just something they don't want to talk about right now. Maybe they're trying to limit the scope of what they're saying just around the, the initial reveal weekend. Maybe maybe it is a bad thing that we're going to hear about it and you know they don't want any negative press to creep up on it or as little negative press as possible. So it, there's so many so many things about it but Straight away, as I mentioned, I think it's a bad thing because I think it's if the the Nintendo account is anything to go by, if the rumors are true and the reports are true, it's it's a bad start. So the best thing I can do is I'm gonna read a comment I left on a website, which are, which shall remain nameless. I will use a bit more colorful language than I did in the comment for the simple reason is they will change and delete comments based on excessive use of language so i'm going to use i'm going to i typed it out it was basically my thought process on the whole thing i'm just going to read it out here as my actual response because it is my response but you'll have some better usual irish language you know substituted in there so in regards to the whole thing that i've mentioned way back in other videos and way back now this has arguably been my biggest worry for months and months on on the switch they give, they give us the unified account system and no benefit to it. You have to buy the same games twice, once for each platform, on the same account. Have to pay again, even with a discount, not good enough. Not even that it's like 75-80%, not good enough. Just to use them on the Wii U without going into the Wii mode, which is a hassle unto itself. Shouldn't have to do it. Apparently, that new Nintendo account for Switch... Wait a minute. I can't even read my own writing here. Apparently, that new Nintendo account for Switch use doesn't link to your Nintendo network ID. Not confirmed personally, but it's just reports. I've always worried that Nintendo will mess up the Virtual Console on Nintendo Switch. It took years for the Wii Virtual Console to even start getting anywhere decent. The Wii U version has been horrible almost the entire time. The 3DS Virtual Console was absolutely terrible for the longest time. It even went for an entire year at one point without getting a single new Virtual Console release. Sure, the Super Nintendo aspect was a nice addition eventually, once again, to, the, to anyone who owned a new Nintendo 3DS. But once again, the unified account system let us down and you have to rebuy those games that you've already paid for once on the same account. It makes absolutely no sense. So, when you look at it that way, and of course, getting drip-fed crap, no-name games every week or two, with maybe one decent game every maybe two months or so, just, no, it, that's it. We need a proper virtual console, including previous game purchases ported over for free, not just with a discount, but for free, Better support than the Wii U had. The Super Nintendo, for example, has some of the best games ever made by wide consensus throughout the internet and throughout the world. And we got a woeful selection on the Wii U. There was a significantly better selection on the Wii. It feels like Nintendo 
are just too lazy to go to other developers and other publishers just to release their games on the virtual console. It's supposedly extremely easy and they literally just need to work out a deal to say, hey, we want to sell your ROM on this platform and you know we'll give you X amount of profit from it and that's it. You don't have to do anything. So they're at it. Now, here's one thing that I, I will say it could technically be a very, very good positive, but there's reasons why I also think it, the positivity of it is going to be very limited. So they're adding in online multiplayer to some NES and SNES games for the Virtual Console on Nintendo Switch, though. Okay, so that's potentially a good thing, which is promising because of the potential. But I'm also expecting it to mostly only be first party games because of the effort involved. I hope I'm wrong on all of this, but give us free ports of what we've already paid for one, two, some of us even three times already with a real selection from real developers, real publishers, so Nintendo and other companies can make easy money and not just that, but give fans and give the public positive perception of actually giving the fans and people what they want it just makes so much sense to me but again it's nintendo who knows i do want the switch to succeed i'm getting on day one uh, nintendo have a very shaky track record ever since depends on how far back you want to look you could go all the way back as as far as the n64 but in more modern aspects and more modern styles i'm going to go back as far as the wii uh, and just go from there so especially with the wii u some of the stuff has has been very dodgy and questionable but you know only time will tell unfortunately hopefully it goes well Hopefully it benefits everyone involved, including the the people, the fans, the people who actually purchase the system and get you know their good virtual console games. Hopefully we'll have GameCube releases and all on there. Hopefully it'll have say proper support, whatever. But hey, it can you can't have Nintendo making too much money, eh? So or at least that seems to be the way they look at it. So let me know your thoughts and comments on Reggie's comments and. The potential, the history, or what you expect from what you'd like to see from the virtual console related stuff down the line for Nintendo Switch. Will we find out in the next month and a half? Hopefully. And hopefully it's some some positive news. So let me know all that in the comment section below. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, you can follow me on Twitter. Details in the description below. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the rest of the videos in my channel.